What's up guys, this is Chris with Honest Outlaw here and today we're gonna to be giving you a pretty cool video. We're gonna be talking about the High Point CF380. This little guy right here. This is actually the cheapest pistol that I was able to find and buy. We got this gun for $80. And what I wanted to do was just try to literally find the cheapest possible semi-automatic handgun with a viable caliber for self-defense. So I didn't want to get a 22 or anything like that, but I did want a 380 or nine millimeter or something with a, a reasonable caliber, 40 cal, something like that. And the cheapest thing I was able to find was this little high point, which is not surprising because high points usually the cheapest gun. There are cheaper ones, uh, but as far as semi-automatic calibers, they're generally the cheapest and there's a few reasons for that. First off, they run a blowback action. And the way that works is essentially the weight of the slide is weighted for the recoil impulse and the recoil spring of the round. So when the round is fired just like an Uzi, the weight itself keeps it tracking at the speed they want. And because of that, you get a little bit more recoil, you get a lot heftier and heavier of a gun. The slide on the high point is gonna be twice as heavy as your average semi automatic pistol with a browning design. The second thing is you're gonna get a lower quality of components. High point, just in order to keep the price down, they have to use lower quality components. It is what it is. It's the only way to get around it. You're not going to get uh, American manufacturing that I'm aware of either. And you're also going to get get some subpar controls and several other things. So this guy here is a three and a half inch polymer framed 380 pistol. Now it's a 380 pistol with only a three and a half inch barrel. So the ballistics are going to be a little bit lacking and you're also going to get a limited capacity. It came with two magazines, one standard and then one extended. I believe this one is eight rounds or seven rounds. I think it's eight rounds. And then this one I believe is 10 rounds here of 380. Now for comparison, you can get the same size of gun like a Ruger Max or Ruger LCP Max or something like that. You can get a much smaller gun with the same capacity of 380, but you're not going to get it for the price of under hundred dollars we did get this for under a hundred dollars new not counting shipping of course uh, but we did get it for eighty dollars flat which i feel is pretty impressive because out of like the ten or twelve thousand guns that were on the website this is one we actually picked up uh, because i literally just ordered it by now lowest to highest and this was the one at the bottom so this is the one we chose <laughs> it's a 29 ounce gun and uh it is at least from the previous high point reviews we've done high point People always talk about it's like the worst gun, it's the this and that, but the reality is there are worse guns, in my opinion, uh, in this price tier. Now, High Point, the High Point Carbine is $300, and we did a thousand round review of it. Is it the most reliable and awesome gun in the world? No, but for $300, it's pretty good. We did a review of the High Point C9 like four or five years ago, and then Nick and I did a review of his Gucci High Point. So I have some experience with the High Points. They're not super accurate guns, the recoil isn't great, but they're usually relatively reliable depending on magazine choice. So we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, before we do go down and shoot this, so I do want to thank the Patreon supporters. Thank you guys very much. It's because of you we can have guns and ammo like this on the channel. If you want to support the channel, that's the best way to do it. Just go to the link in the description below. Also in that description is a link to a local shelter named Iowa. It's the YSS. It could really use your help. That link's below as well. And then we also have a brand new YouTube channel called Outlaw Life. The missus is on there doing a bunch of cool stuff. Plus, I do a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. And we're going to be doing some optics on there as well so feel free to check that out now we'll take this uh 380 pistol here the uh cheapest gun that i could possibly find for self-defense and we're gonna go down and shoot 100 rounds through it for the first shots video uh give you a first impressions and then we'll do a probably a thousand round review after that just because i kind of want to see what we can do to this thing so yeah should be a good time ready all right so we have the 80 dollar high point 380 out here so i figured it'd be best to try to shoot it at 75 yards Probably the furthest anybody's ever hit with a high point. But we'll try her out here. And a malfunction. Well. It actually has three rounds in there somehow. Uh, That's actually the most wild malfunction I've ever had. <laughs> that was three rounds. I don't know how I got three rounds out of there already, but cool. This is going to be fun. And another. It did, in fact, have another malfunction. Okay. We'll ditch that mag. I only have Federal uh, 380, or, or I would change the ammunition. Hey, oh, worked. I got a hit, too. Yay. I heard that thing. Double whammy. Yes. I think the reason why it's malfunctioning, you see that? That's uh. skin off my thumb oh and it's the see that it's rubbing on my thumb and i think i'm slowing the the cyclic rate so that last shot 
I literally can't get my hand off the slide because I don't have any space for my right or my left hand when I put my thumb down. Because even if I wrap it over, it pushes it up, right? Okay. So what I'm gonna do is try revolver grip, put my thumb down here, and try to keep everything out of the way. All right. I got another hit. Yeah, you did. I gotta tell you, that actually worked. We found a spot on our land that wasn't super windy. We're at about 45, 50 yards here. Okay. This is a temperamental son of a bitch. This uh, extended mag with all high points is a bad idea. So we did a thousand in review of the high point carving and all the extended mags are garbage. And I think a lot of that is the components they put into it. Plus if you use the same spring in an extended mag is used in a standard mag, it has different spring pressure and then the gun works differently. But high point doesn't care about that because high point doesn't care about you. What in the fucking flying hell is going on here? Okay. Let's okay. try it. Learning curve. No function. We got a hit though. Yes, 50 we 50 yards. Did. So what you're saying is don't defend your life with this. Well, here's my issue with cheap semi-autos, right? Because if you get a cheap semi-auto, you get an inadvertent single shot a lot of the time. So I wonder if instead of $80 for a 380 semi-auto, you might just want to get a single shot pistol that you get good at reloading. Because reloading a go. single shot is often quicker than malfunction clear. Well, now I can't hit shit, even though I'm in the same spot. Hey, at least it ran the rest of those uh, rounds. That's true. Sometimes budget guns are a labor of love. Is that one louder? I don't think so. Maybe my ear pro just kicked on. Okay. Good times. Okay. All right, so, so far we've had some sketchy reliability and it doesn't like to chamber the rounds. But again, $80 pistol. Less reliability with the big mag than the little one, but we only have two, so we keep loading it anyway. Malfunction. I think I tapped it in there, but we'll see. Hmm. I'm actually getting the hang of it a little bit. It shoots, uh, it shoots real low, so I've been aiming uh, like maybe six inches above the target from here. And that's kind of hard to do with iron sights because you cover up your target then, you kind of superimpose it. So what I'm doing is kind of aiming at the, uh, I'm aiming at like the leaf structure behind the target, which is kind of how you have to do a lot of long range shooting. If you're covering up the target, you just have to remember what's behind the target and kind of line it up with that. And then you still miss because you're shooting a high point at 50 yards. Well, I got one. So at 50 yards if I have an entire mag, I might get one hit. All right, so we got you hiding behind a barricade here real quick because it's super windy down here. But I wanted to do some close up stuff. So we'll just do some run and gun with our seven round mag. I gotta say that was pretty good though, no? Yeah. I mean, up close, like shooting it far away is, we were doing that because of the wind noise, but like up close is what this designed for. And like, even if it's an $80 handgun, somebody breaks in your house, that'll happen. <laughs> I was gonna say it was gonna work well, but that, it's like, nah, fuck you. Always with this mag, by the way. When keeping it real goes wrong. Right, but it's always the extended mag. High, high points and extended mags don't go hand in hand. See? All the malfunctions have been from this piece of shit here. 
You can feel how trashy and shitty it is. It, it, it's quite wiggly. Yeah. We've had these just literally break apart and had the spring shoot up and everything. I mean, the reality is, is what you're paying for pot metal. You know, there's me melted beer cans put in a... So what you're saying is buy extra regular size mags. Shit, yeah. Absolutely. Get, get like a standard mag with no base plate on it, like this one. And instead of getting these extended ones, buy like 20 of these. Because they go bad quick, too. You gonna shred, baby? Yeah, so we've got the little guy in here. I uh, put seven rounds and then one in the tube. We got eight rounds. We're gonna do a little home defense drill. So, say when. Beep. That's not bad for a high point. I'll be damned. I mean, honestly. Oh, if you have the regular mag, it's reliable. I mean, better than a sharp stick. Well, now you're having so much fun, you don't wanna stop. Yeah, I know. I was supposed to give it to you a couple mags ago, but. Oh boy, takes a fucking, takes a stronger yeah. man than me to run this. All right, so what should we do? Should we do like three and three maybe? Like two people breaking our house? Gotta, yeah. give them, gotta give them each three nine millimeter shorts. Sure. Some nine millimeter curts. Oh, something's wrong. Uh-oh. Well, I gotta tell you, if this was your house and they broke in, you'd already be dead. And it got super windy too, sorry this, Steve. I mean this gun has a lot in common with you. She is real finicky. <laughs> Unpredictable. Someone's not getting laid. Go nuts with your high point. I can't imagine anything would go wrong with this. All right, let's see. Well that's more hits you got with the SDC watch. Holy shit. It worked. It did work. I don't hate it. Right, it's better than the SCCY. I definitely don't hate it. I actually like that it's a little heavier because it makes the recoil, I mean, it's at 380, so it's well, not Well, for like a blowback, the recoil, that's nothing because the big right. ass 380. Right, yeah. it actually feels good and I'm gonna shoot one more mag. Do it. Let's see if I, am I right in the same spot? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, you're in the right spot. Does this actually, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Oh, uh, that's a good time, right? But no, you just got to you got to really there we go. Got Yeah, it. you got to man up. All right. Here comes the one. Hey, it worked again. What the heck? Yeah, that mag works. Wow, I'm I'm really impressed with this considering It's $80. Yeah. Oh, we wow, legit I bought that like new for $80. It's new? Yeah. It's not you? No. That doesn't count shipping, but still, 80 bucks is good. Wow. Wow. Well, color me impressed. All right, so, uh, first off, I want to mention that these guns new most likely have a break-in period. I didn't look it up, but they probably have a break-in period of 100 rounds. This gun did start running better after we had a few rounds through it, and it also ran, I think, spotless. I'll have to check the footage, but I think it ran pretty good with this magazine, the standard magazine, and I think most of the problems I remember right were with this gun, or most this mag right here, which, again, is commonplace for all of our high point reviews. Of the extended magazines were an issue, so don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. If you're already doing this to yourself, don't do that to yourself. So if you're gonna get this, make sure you get the standard magazines. Uh, the trigger was a lot better than I expected, but it didn't make much of a difference because the gun inherently is about as accurate as, you know, shooting spitballs through a straw. Like, it, I, I've never shot at 50 yards where every pull felt good. Everyone felt good, not like the SCCY or the Sky. People got so mad about the Sky, but let's be honest, it doesn't really spell Sky, does it? It was shooting like this and all the trigger pulls felt good but the rounds just were not going where I wanted. And then when we took it up close and patterned it, we found we were shooting about a foot low. Well, that just is what it is. If you wanna change that, it looks like these are adjustable, but God help you if you trust that, because these look terrible. I mean, they I've never seen that <laughs> color scheme before. Did you, did you see me bend them? So no. we had, we had a, a round stuck in the pipe, and I did the traditional, I just went over to the uh, barricade, and I used the rear sight there, and I just rammed it on there and knocked it out. And when I did that, I bent the rear sight pretty significantly. So don't do that to yourself either. That, that immediately hampered, luckily we didn't have any accuracy before that, but after it, we certainly didn't. Hey, up close, I think we were pretty good. Up close was good. Yeah. And, and you know, within 10 yards, this gun handled relatively well for an $80 handgun. And, and again, it's a $80 handgun, guys. So what do you expect? You know, you go into it with a, an idea that you're gonna get some reduced performance. I've shot a lot of shitty guns lately anywhere from Taurus, 
the 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 little bobcat or little tomcat thing uh the secy and out of those two both those guns were double the price of this and both those guns i would have chose this over like if, if you broke into my house right now and i needed this or that secy i would throw this guy at you and i would load this yeah that's like a no good, shit that's a good battle plan <laughs> Throw the ineffective ones. <laughs> I might throw this too. It might be better off. Throw them off their game. You just keep throwing cheap guns at them until they leave your house. Maybe they'll leave with the cheap guns. Maybe they and will and save you the them. trouble. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, this you're not unarmed with this, but I would recommend heavily finding reliable magazines that work well, right? I would also recommend finding an ammo type that worked very well for the gun because these guns can be picky with ammo. It's just a reality. They're sprung for a particular uh, recoil and pulse, so if you find the right, like, whatever grain or whatever uh, feet per second that the gun likes, stick with that. And you're, the only way you're gonna be able to do that is, is buy a couple different boxes of ammunition, take it home, and, tr and maybe buy five or six of these mags and take them home. The problem I have with that idea is then you're up in the two, $300 price range and maybe you should just bought a Canic. You know well yeah but if you can't and this is it the other thing is is like let's say you don't have the option let's say this is just the gun that your dad left you or the gun that your grandma left you or you remember your, your friend came over a while back and said that someone just left him a gun and they're just like here's oh, yeah, a jenny yeah. how do they i run found this? it they found yeah. it in the closet yeah and they came over to my house and they just asked me if it worked take, check it out and then how it runs and that kind of thing and if that is the case you can learn to use this effectively providing that it will be reliable, and some of these will be and some of them won't. That's the other issue with cheap guns is quality control. You might have had 100 malfunctions out of 100 shots, or you might have had zero malfunctions out of 100 shots. It's up to luck. You know, when you use cheap components and you use uh, stacking tolerances and all these other things in manufacturing where you're trying to shortcut things, sometimes things work and sometimes they don't. And it's not a cherry pick gun. I got this, I bought this, so. It is what it is. That's what happens with $80 it's a fact. for budget guns. That being said, I'm kind of impressed, and I actually had a good time shooting this toward the end. I did too, actually. I, I really started to have fun. Once we started to shoot it fast, I, I think the the the, the uh, initial shots at 75, where I could barely hit the freaking berm, and then at 50 yards we got like one hit, I was kind of discouraged. And then we went up close where, where the gun's designed for, and I got to say, it was actually pretty fun. Shooting high point fast is always fun. It, because it feels like you're doing something you shouldn't be doing. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of excited to do a thousand round review on this. And uh, if you're buying a gun for self-defense, don't buy this. But if you do buy this, try to get effective ammunition in magazines and uh, especially train because training is important. Yep. And if I was trained with this gun, I would train to throw it at somebody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later. Should we call this between two ferns? Maybe. Under, under the maple tree?